Greetings, family. This is Bomani Tamba. And family, welcome to our Africa for the Africans Tourism and Investment Conference call. And today's date is Sunday, June 26. And this is our 16th year doing our incredible journey of a lifetime. And now uh, we're here to talk about a list of tours. I'm about to show the schedule on screen sharing. All right, so uh, hopefully everybody can see the schedule. So that's the uh, latest flyer that I have with uh, all of the uh, schedule, the next um, or the, the next two that we have for this year and five for next year. So that is a full schedule of six incredible countries, uh, five countries that we've been to and then the sixth country, uh, which is Liberia, that is a new uh, journey that we're taking on and looking to connect uh, you to a world of tours and investments in Liberia. All right, so the next journey um, we're getting ready for is uh, Tanzania. So right now we're looking to add a few more people to that journey, but that journey as a nice uh, small group and the journey is a go. So regardless if we get more people or not, uh, we are moving forward with that journey and it's uh, one of those things where it's uh, less stressful traveling now than it ever did. Um, we just went through two straight years of just COVID-19 protocols and mandates and wearing masks and coronavirus stress and things like that. So now um, all those things are just back to as normal as normal can be. So anyone that's just looking to travel, I'm letting you know that uh, those two years uh, in 2020 and 2021, we traveled and um, we made the best of it and we had no problems. It was just following this, the requirements. So now that things are less stressed, just looking for more people to just join the journey. So we're still looking to add more people to all the journeys that we have. And there's currently this accepting deposits for all these journeys that we have. Tanzania, November 17 to the 28th. 2022, Ghana, December 24th, 2022 to January 5th, 2023. So those journeys come up within the next uh, five, six months. And we have a nice uh, size uh, journey for December and that will mark our full 16th anniversary and journey 22 for uh, Ghana. And that's 22 journeys just to Ghana alone. And so what you see, me doing is just adding more schedules to different countries and this for those who have traveled to Ghana and enjoy the journey these are countries that uh we're just you know, it's uh you know it's not trying to give you the same Ghana and different countries so these countries the itineraries are this special in this uh own in certain ways where real nice cultural black home hotels uh beach resorts uh you have more layback time, you have different networking, vision of investment. Uh, so we start the year off of 2023 with uh, Senegal and the Gambia. Uh, so that is gonna give you four days in Senegal and five days in the Gambia. So that's a nice roots and culture journey that's on two countries. Then, then we're back to uh, Ghana, May 24th to June 5th. And then after that, we uh, set off our Liberia journey. So that's going to be doing this a whole lot of marketing for, for Liberia journey, but it is a incredible schedule. If you just read through that itinerary and look at the overview as far as what to experience and all these uh, schedules that I've set up are just schedules that you put a lot of work into researching it, putting together an ideal crew on the ground. And then as time go along, you just perfect it or get better and better. And so with the exception of uh, Ghana, all of these uh, journeys are nine full days in Africa. And then you, you had the travel days, you're looking at itineraries from 11 to 13 days. All right, then the goal always uh, on these uh, journeys is to this have the organized full package for you 
with the uh, English speaking uh, tour guide, Rancho flights from America to Africa. And in um, most cases, uh, what you're looking at is uh, direct flights um, or basically one connection flight. And uh, let me give you even the, even the schedule for Tanzania. So, um, we leave from Atlanta on Delta directly to Amsterdam and from Amsterdam, you go on, we fly on KLM directly to Kilimanjaro. So that is just a um, single connection. And then if we're going to Ghana, we'll fly directly to either New York JFK or, or Washington uh, Dulles uh, directly to uh, Ghana. Uh, so those are the schedules. So we have a nice schedule with, you know, without a whole bunch of connections and uh, all of the connection flights are scheduled to where you only have a certain amount of lay layover. So when you're reading through the uh, data, the itinerary of all of these journeys, you're gonna literally just see flight schedule and things like that. So all these things are planned out in detail. And then for every country with the exception of Liberia, I have a tour book already. And the goal is always to just update the tour book and get it ready for the group. And that tour book uh, showcase all the things that we're gonna be doing in the country. And to get the flow of everything that you're doing, uh, it's gonna be on a tour, tour overview. And, and continue on with the tour package. Uh, it includes uh, transportation and tours throughout the country, uh, daily exercise and meditation, uh, daily breakfast and gourmet dinner, uh, naming ceremony of, for Ghana and ancestral celebration uh, for certain other countries. Hotel accommodation is double occupancy or you can purchase upgrade for single occupancy. Now uh, we have business conference and networking and then all tours, uh, entrance and access to all sites and activities are included. So the only thing that uh, is not included is lunch and your group tips and just any other individual charges. So what I have on this flyer here is this basically links to the way you can view all of the videos and pictures, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. But what I want to show you is our newsletter. So what I'm going to do is scroll down from the newsletter and just showcase the same dates, but also just use the newsletter as a. Greetings, everyone. Uh, greetings. Uh, let me meet you. Uh, greetings. I'm just going to the uh, newsletter. And finally, in this newsletter, what you're going to see is just a whole lot of those previous uh, tour groups. And then I'm scrolling down to the topics and yeah. All right, so quick introduction. So, so family, the Africa for Africans tourism investment experience. I started the research on this traveling to Africa in 2004 in my mid twenties at 26 and the first country I went to was Senegal and that was March of 2004 and then Egypt April of 2004 and that was an introduction to this roots culture history and so I continue on to follow me in 2005 and went to, went to a few additional countries I did go back to Senegal but also went to South Africa and uh, Kenya country number three and four. And the goal while I'm doing these uh, tours or doing these uh, travel, because they weren't tour grouped, you're building the experience and you're you know, doing your own research and learning about your own roots and culture history uh, beyond just uh, the books you have read or watching DVDs or videos. So that's, uh, that's the way I started building um, my initial uh, experience on traveling to uh, Africa. And uh, in uh, 2006, that's the year I went to uh, the Gambia, country number five, and Ghana, country number six. So those uh, first uh, three years, uh, those are the initial six countries. And that's how we started this uh, journey of a lifetime.
where Ghana was a country that uh, I was able to put together the best itinerary and this basically this build a foundation of our repatriation investment tour uh, that's focused on touring around the country, learning about uh, our connection in Ghana and also learn about opportunities as far as the possibilities of living, doing business. And those are things you just kind of lay out in a program, uh, which includes uh, putting together a business and investment conference and just you know, making your way around the country and just uh, showcasing different parts of what we would consider this uh, a historical and a cultural tour that uh, connects us as Africans in the diaspora or stolen Africans looking to this, find more about uh, where we came from as a people and looking to this, open our minds up. Uh, so all those things have been documented over the years as far as pictures, videos, and even more so in this modern era, this is, I've been able to show, showcase more videos and more information, video clips just all over you know, YouTube, Facebook, uh, our website, and then so on. And the website showcase more details as far as just your full overview, uh, general terms, tour itinerary. Uh, so I always just recommend everyone take their time and click on the website link for the relative tour that you're going to and just read through all the articles and make sure that uh, you're clear about what's included, what's not included, uh, what you're looking to experience on the journey based on the overview. And then ultimately based on the day-to-day -day itinerary, which would be the most important thing because it just lay out the specific dates of what we're doing and everything. And, and these things are planned out because you know once you get used to planning schedule, is there something that uh, you just, you're able to do, you're able to do research on different countries and different locations that you're traveling to and then highlight uh, museums, uh, culture centers, higher, highlight historical places that's relevant to you know the tour you're doing and the countries that we're talking about, you know, are some of the best ones I've found in Africa as far as this making it relevant to this, us as a people that's coming to Africa. Uh, it's one of those things where I'm always telling people that uh, I have literally no interest in this Europe itself. I've uh, been to a few countries and uh, some are basically because of just traveling in and out and some are basically, you know, you have family members and things like that. But as far as the relevance of this, our connection, it's just, it's not there. All you're doing, I tell people, all you're doing is gonna be spending a whole bunch of euros. That's all you're gonna be doing in Europe. But come to Africa uh, on the incredible journey of a lifetime and it's completely relevant to you. As far as this, those of us uh, from, you know, from the African diaspora, you're connected to countries where you're connecting to some of your own people who have made a move and live and do business there and sit in a business. And then also you're getting a connection with uh, the specific local country that you're traveling to and things like that. So you're, it's a hundred percent relevant to us as a people. Uh, and that's what you're getting and, you, and you're building a whole new world of those connections and possibilities. And so all, all those journeys have literally just been, it's just hard to keep up with it. So when you're on, YouTube and you click on this uploads, it literally showcase over 3,200 videos. And that's because we're always recording everything, including conference call, including just video highlights of us traveling, uh, just showing us from the airport to all of the different sites, uh, us moving around and things like that. And it's all there, uh, right there to just give you this a full, clear idea of this is what we're doing. So you're not surprised. And along with reading the, the itinerary, you're just clear about what you're getting into. And I'm telling people, compare these itineraries to this anything else out there, and then to see what you get the most of. I mean, cause this is the specifically designed to give us an ex experience and also to make sure that everything is taken care of for you and everything is organized, especially things like uh, your visa and getting your assistant on your visa and all the things that you need to get prepared and ready to go, uh, all of those things you're gonna find on the schedule or on the schedule link. And as I talk about uh, YouTube, uh, there are playlists for all of the previous tours uh, that I've done. And which once you 
go to the playlist, uh, you just click on it and all you see is just highlights of the complete journey of that specific uh, tour. Example, like uh, example, I've done two Tanzania journey, Tanzania November 2020 and Tanzania November 2021. So once you on YouTube and you click on a playlist, once you click on this YouTube link and you click on playlist, you just click on the relative uh, Tanzania tour and then you'll see all the videos. I mean, this is just myself, this using a camcorder or using the, the phone to record videos, this basically video highlights throughout the time frame of all the things that we're doing. That way we can just kind of just let more people know this is what we're doing. Are you interested in doing this? And if so, at least you're clear and get people committed and then just keep on doing these incredible journeys. And these are journeys dedicated to supporting as much black owned business as possible. So uh, we're just connecting people into a world of investing in black owned business and investing in black owned business and investing in a future of just us looking at things a whole lot different than this uh, vacation and then this getting away. Now the visa requirements are gonna be for Tanzania, Liberia, Ghana, and the Gambia, and uh, none for Senegal or South Africa. So on each of the uh, tour links, you're gonna see the visa requirements for each of these countries. And the best thing I'm always recommend everyone do, once you just get it, just click uh, on the link and just follow the details. And then for some countries, I have visa email like Ghana, Gambia, Tanzania, and I do have a Liberia visa. And these are those visas that, visa email that literally just have step-by-step -step information on how to fill out the visa uh, application and how to process your visa uh, through the relative embassy and just all the procedures. But at the same time too, if you need help, if you run into any issues or if you have any questions, I got your back on those things. All right, and each of the tour links also have things based on Africa, culture and customs, uh, what to pack and what to bring. Uh, other one is uh, improving the immune system. It's giving you just recommendations um, to build your immunity. Uh, seven, uh, on this, um, this basic list I have, I was talking about language uh, translation. So, so I do have a few uh, that I put together and <clears throat> It's on a tour link and also when I do the tour book, it's also on the tour book. And it's just giving you a nice little introduction into this basic language translation of one or two of the more popular language in that specific country. Then I have a list uh, called Departure and Reminder List. Definitely just recommend everybody read that list. It's kind of a summary of all the things that we have talked about or would have talked about as far as getting you prepared and clear, as far as traveling, as far as just being clear about the airport requirements and baggage and what to pack, what to bring, and all the basic uh, things as far as this entry and or departure procedure. About uh, about two months before we travel, that's when our goal is to clear all tickets. And then you'll just be able to just access your ticket via the airline uh, website link and log in. Uh, so that's what that talks about. And I'm just gonna go to a few basic things in this open up. Uh, all the journeys that we do, uh, we're just always just looking to see who can bring some school supplies and some donation for the children based on one or two schools that we have on the schedule. Uh, and it's nothing specific, uh, even though I do have a link on our website that says Africa uh, school supplies or school supplies for the children of Africa based on our tour schedule. All right, uh, each of these journeys, we have a few different uh, cultural celebrations. So we always just let everyone know, bring, bring a set of white clothing and a set of red, black, and green and gold clothing to pay respect to our ancestors. So 
we put together one or two cultural days where, you know, whether it's us going to African Holocaust dungeons or whether we're traveling and experience uh, something dealing with uh, African Holocaust, uh, stolen Africans. Uh, so that's uh, what uh, those colors are represent and for. The goal is always to have some kind of repatriation and investment conference. So just trying to encourage people to live, travel, and do business in Africa. Uh, so this you know, usually just recommend everyone just to come and bring fresh thoughts and ask the right question and let's do our best to just put together something to this network and build upon. The one that we have in Ghana is just well established and the ones that we have in other countries we're just building up on it. And the goal is to put together something special in all the countries that we travel to. And it's the same concept that's connecting us to different countries. Right, so feminist is more of our group pictures. And uh, this is the link to all of our Facebook uh, group pages. And this is a collection of all of our previous tours from December 2006 all the way to May 2022. Uh, so this is our newsletter and, and this give you all of the social links to this click and get on our website. And this is a site itself right here. And if you're on your desktop or laptop, it'll just give you these nice views of some of our best photos that uh, we've taken across that 16 year time frame. And I have the MP3 player muted, but that gives you some nice audio of some cultural music to enjoy the photos. This is the body of the website and all of the, what you're looking for, the schedule is right there on the main menu. The main item is Black Star Pan-African Community. So once you click on that link, that give you access to our incredible Black Star Pan-African Community in Ghana that uh, showcase a 15 and a 16 acre residential and commercial project. Uh, for any of us to acquire land and be a part of the community and live and do business there. So that's one of my uh, you know, long vision journeys to build an incredible community for us to establish and operate our business and for us to just connect some of our members who want to live in a social environment, like what we're looking to offer. So very interesting and there's a lot of videos and photos and documentation uh, once you click on the link and this it takes you into an incredible world but once you're on our Ghana journey uh, we always just have a full day where we just visit the town the community our, our office and then the share highlights so we have a lot of highlights in the last journey that's going to be getting shared and those things are going to be updated and uploaded to Facebook and YouTube and this gets shared across our, our network The Africa tour books, uh, those are the, the books, uh, the full tour program books uh, that we have in digital form. And sometimes we print them based on the journey that we're taking. Uh, newsletters on Africa tours and investment. So the newsletters, that's the collection of newsletters and it's the same newsletter that I just went through. And it just gives you the specific details on each of the journeys that we are doing. And also talks about things like our Black Star community, but it's specific uh, newsletters for our different Africa tours and uh, investments. Africa repatriation consultation and relocation support. 
So this uh, link uh, let's give you details about this, uh, the full service and things that are laid out for those who may want to just move, live and do business in Africa and need help to get things set up and need help to just get legal paperwork done and things like that. And uh, these are things that uh, people like myself are well experienced in. And because I'm always just making moves in different countries, you just learn how to just get things done because you have to get the same things uh, done for yourself. So that is uh, what that's all about. And uh, that is a whole bunch of just different uh, services, especially if you've never been to Africa and you're looking to move, you definitely want to just be clear about those things. So uh, just one basic conversation and we can just talk about uh, where we can just go from there. And it's just one of those things where just, once we talk, we can just make a game plan, but there's nothing, or no problem with just calling, reaching out and talking. Uh, all of that is always, there's no charging all those things. This, if we need to talk, we need to talk. And if we need to plan things out, then we put the you know, numbers and things together. And beyond that, the tours come with uh, just helping you just get uh, your preparation ready as far as your visa and things like that. So all those things could be clear based on conversation. And that's why I just have everything that's laid out on our website. So below that is a list of different tours uh, with full schedule and full details. And that is from November, 2022, all the way to January of 2024, all across six countries. Yeah, South Africa, Tanzania, Liberia, Ghana, Senegal, and the Gambia. And as we're right here in the middle, these are the links also. Once you click on them, you open it up and what you're gonna see is just all the details. And these are the same links as the main menu link. This is just to just give you the price that's attached to all of the tours that we have. And some of these are some of the same supportive links that are on the main menu. Right. So these are all of the social links and all of the Facebook groups. And everything is a click of a link and this WhatsApp, uh, you click on it, you're supposed to be able to just send me a message. So if anybody is ever trying to just communicate with me quick, uh, you can just Click on this link here and then send me a quick message on WhatsApp and then I'll just look out for it and communicate back with you. But these are the full list of all of our tour groups from uh, 2006 all the way to 2022. And I'm just gonna scroll down and just take me down to the history and back to this, um, the memories. And as um, we stand strong for 16 strong years looking to this, take things to another level and because what you're going to mainly see is majority of the journeys that we've taken uh 21 uh, have been Ghana out of the uh, 30 something journeys uh so it's a little more balanced for our uh, next year as we look to this expand into all of these different countries and, and sometimes people want you to go to all these other countries but you're definitely limited and you just have to kind of work the countries that you can work. So the countries that you see on our schedule is the six best countries that I've, I look at out of, out of 10, out of you know, the 10 countries I've traveled to and out of just all together, there's 15 countries that I can see where we can just do tourism because that's what the, all of the journeys are based on roots and culture tourism. And so all of these uh, groups are nice and colorful so that these are in, the, in the, the 2020s. There's a whole lot of tour groups. So 
So from 2017 on to 2022, did the majority of our journeys. That's because we did multiple journeys per year. But before this, you're looking at basically one journey per year. So you know, our famous July 2017 Brazil journey. Um, so that is us really in Brazil and also Ethiopia. All right, so from uh, October 2016 all the way to December 2006, you're looking at like one, one journey per year. So that's been our evolution. And So that's what I mean, family. So we have expanded, evolved, and now that the whole COVID era is out, looking to just resume a big, strong groups and looking to just open things up. So, family, for those who are interested, view the details, reach out to me, and let's get you started on the incredible journey and uh, get you locked in. And then you look to the left side of the page, you see all of the other options, including um, payment options. Uh, you don't have to do any registration. Uh, those are just originally what we were just trying to do, but you don't have to do that so much anymore. Uh, but contact us via email, via WhatsApp, uh, conference call detail, and there's other supporting details are below the uh, tour links on the main menu. And also there's more social links including linking on here and just uh just click and check it out so that's my goal is always to just upload uh data pictures videos and this information to all of these links on here and then just keep uh, everyone uh looking to travel with us posted with this all updates and the uh, most popular updates that i always have for you is this video updates i always have videos on youtube this Every other day, I just got a bunch of videos to upload and upload and upload. I shot over almost over 300 videos there in Ghana, and it's just short clips of just highlights of many things. And some of them are more interesting than others, but it's just a world of documentation. So when you come and you click on the YouTube link, you can just click on videos to see all the videos, or you can scroll down and then you can see the latest uploads. And then uh, you can see the last uh, tour that I did, which was Ghana, May and June. Once you click on that link, there's all those videos and I have a bunch more to load. And then below I have some of my famous playlists, which are gonna be the last few tours that I've done. These are all 2020 tours uh, that I've done, uh, mainly Ghana, and Tanzania, Senegal and the Gambia. Uh, I've got Highlights from our Black Star Pan African community, uh, from interviews to highlights on the ground to updates. And then more playlists of some of the older uh, journeys that we've taken to uh, Ghana. And then uh, South Africa, Brazil, Ethiopia, uh, Egypt. Uh, those are all links on there. Those are all like a whole lot of videos that I've documented in this, uploaded in this kept them as just a video journal of our experience of what we do to let people know that this is what we do and this is how we do it. And all you're gonna see is just a bunch of groups of people that we're moving around. Uh, just showing our expertise of this, what we do, uh, Africa tourism and uh, networking and connection. And uh, whole lot of playlists. Uh, So this is you know, my journey and world of this expression of what we do in business and social life on, on uh, YouTube, this video highlights. So you're gonna love some of the last video uploads uh, on you know, this, you know, hearing back from some of uh, people who have moved from America and lived here in Ghana and just sharing the experience of from real estate development to all the things that they're in. Uh, so that's always a good story. 
and then just click on video and then just scroll through and family. We'd have never seen as many videos in your life of just anybody traveling and moving around. You know, it just a whole lot of this highlights at the highlights at the highlights. Us in museum and circle places, culture shopping, tour guide lecturing. You know, and you always see us in our highlights of this different places, our fine dining. The next one is Facebook. So Facebook, you just click on photos, then you click on albums, and then you're gonna see a world of just albums. The same thing, uh, all the way from uh, twin uh, from 2006 all the way to 2022. So both Facebook and YouTube show you 16 straight years of this highlights of this uh, all of our journey experience in Africa and about to, and then some of the latest ones you'll see me and my uh, me and my little boy, this traveling, moving around, and this us all over the place. So the only country that you won't see is Liberia, because that is our next venture to this have documentation, but every other country we've been to this, a whole lot of pictures and videos, you know, Senegal, Gambia, Tanzania, Ghana, South Africa. Yeah. And then there's different events that I've just sometimes just go to in this uh, document, um, different cultural events here in Atlanta, from Marcus Garvey Festival, Malcolm X Festival, to Black Power Awards, to just different things. And so you see the mix of us, what we do, this roots and cultural, you know, you see, you see the same colors, red, black, green, and gold, and you just see this beautiful black people connecting, networking, taking photos, socializing, and join us a great time across Africa and just you know, pushing our continent and our culture. And you know, like I mentioned, the folk people come to Africa with us and just enjoy something relevant to what you're looking to do. And uh, only thing you're looking to do in Europe is spend a bunch of euros and a whole lot of it and get nothing relevant to you. So this is the journey of a lifetime designed for you. So that is all of the photos and videos. It's a world to connect you into who you're flown with, dealing with, and the showing our experience over a long period of time, over a decade and a half. All right, so family, appreciate everybody uh, listening on our presentation of our historical Africa for the Africans tours. And we're looking to get the next energy of people ready to journey with us to any of the countries that are just showcased on our tour schedule flyer. Uh, so all of those countries are ready and open for business as we look to add more and more people. So I'm going to open things up for questions, and um, if anyone that's ready to journey, just uh, send me a text message and an email or call me, and uh, I'll just talk specific with you about just getting started, which make, mainly means uh, we just need to get a deposit from you, locked in, and then find out where you need a flight from. Um, next important thing and get you the best flight schedule that we can get you so you can be connected and then make sure that you're clear about your schedule and what you're getting into. So family, for those who have any questions, just unmute yourself and then just uh, give your name, where you're calling from, uh, what journey you're traveling on or what journey you want to travel on and your question. So family, all you have to do is just uh, unmute yourself and then uh, just uh, talk. Sounds like you did a real good job. <laughs> Nobody has any questions. Well, that's all good. Nah, no problem. Now let's put back up the flyer. Yeah. 
Yes, Juma, I, I like that flyer. I think you're in that flyer. You'll see I'm, it somewhere on there. Uh, I'm in the, the third picture down. There you go. That's you right there. You're sneaking in there. Yeah, right there. I'm standing right there in the back in uh, Senegal. Oh, yeah, bam. There we go. So, yes, that is a beautiful schedule. So, Juma, I'm going to see you in South Africa also at the end of next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You miss your cousins in South Africa. Yeah. I'm going to put that on my itinerary. I try to go once um, once every year to, to some country. But uh, I'm, really, I'm really curious about Liberia, though. Uh, yes, uh, that is... Um, <laughs> You know, you look at it, you're like, we're Liberia. And you're like, is that Liberia? I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's Liberia. Uh, it's it's one of those things where, you know, uh, you know, you know, you're tapping into different markets. Like South Africa is a you know well-established market, uh, along with Tanzania and Ghana. Like those are those are like you know up there in the top ones as far as tourism there in um you know in Africa. But uh, Liberia is one of those ones that are on the very bottom of the list. Uh, but at the same time, too, when you talk about the uh, repatriation settlement of 18, 20, 22, to now 2022, maybe 200 years later, and talking about all of the relevant things as far as just uh, a country that was set up for our repatriation, our reconnection. And then, you know, you know it's uh, a country that still have a lot of uh, historical places and, and culture. And it's also a country that I think is sneaking up uh, and people are not going to recognize. But... It's also a country where when you're looking at it, you're looking at um, grassroots or foundation investments and opportunities. Uh, so, and that's one of those things where more of us would have jumped in at the early stage there in the countries like Ghana for land investments and things like that, uh, we'd have been able to just benefit a lot from it. So this is the next country I'm kind of telling people like heads up, um, you know, if you're looking for a foundation opportunity for, of a country to grow with uh, and things like that. So. We're gonna see with our family. Um, the line is open for anyone who have any questions, and for definitely for anyone who is ready to travel with us on any of these uh, journey of a lifetime schedule. Omani, what's the uh, mosquito situation like in uh, Tanzania? Uh yes, uh, I remember. I remember Dar es Salaam it being real bad. You just have to just make sure you just have on some uh, long pants and make sure that you have your your mosquito sprays, repellent, and things like that. Um, so that's what I, I do remember, uh, but you know, some countries may be a little bit worse than others, but I, you, I don't remember it being that bad on in Arusha or Zanzibar Island, but nevertheless, man, this brother, you know, just come prepared and be ready. Yeah, isn't there um, something like neem that you can buy to, to put on your skin? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, uh, Centronella uh, repellent products, uh, this mosquito repellent, you know, you just have to look at a few options, but there's you know, several different options out there. And, you know, I usually have, and if you forget yours, I usually have a, in the supply bag, a few things ready to go. Right. Find you something nice and natural. Um. Greetings from mom. This is Nicole. Um, I had a question about uh, when you were on that website, you had a on the left margarine margin, you were going down down like a menu. But is that on your Africa for Africans website? Because I couldn't see that menu. Was that another what page were you? Is that something you had created? No, this is the main menu. The main menu, like example, if you click on your phone or click on your anything, it will give you the option for the main menu. So this is a permanent main menu on the left. It just stays there. Uh, so once you click on it, uh, this it just opens up whatever you're looking for on the right side. Yeah, that's interesting, huh? I'm not pulling that up. Okay, maybe I have to play with it. Maybe my phone's not letting it. I may have to go to my Word document. Okay. Now, if you're looking on your phone, just uh, you click on the uh, the menu icon to the top right. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what I need. And then it gives you a full list. The same thing on here on the left side. Okay. Because I wanted to go through the list of the clothing and and things that you would need to bring. So, all right, I appreciate it. So that. once you um, so once you click on your uh, Tanzania November twenty twenty two, and then also on the phone, it gives you. 
and the phone it gives you the, the, also the menu in the middle. So the menu shows up with like literally in the middle of the page also once you scroll down. Oh yeah, so yeah. Once you click on Tanzania, yeah. you come right okay. and you click on departure of mind that give you a list of things uh, to also pack and bring. There we go. Thanks. I, okay, I remember doing that before. Okay, but I was looking, okay. Your screen was showing up a little different. That's probably because it's truncated on my phone. Okay, that's what it is. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, yes, and this is a big view from my uh, desktop. <laughs> that is nice. nice desktop. Okay, thank you. Yes, and the difference also, family, between the uh, desktop and the uh, mobile version is um, the screen save and MP3 player. It's just, it's just something that wouldn't work on the uh, mobile version. So I disable it on the mobile version, and it only plays on the desktop or laptop version, which is this, I guess, uh, the PC or desktop version. All right, and that is some of our wonderful highlights. All right, so family, so it's next person, uh, is uh, unmute yourself and uh, give a name, where you call them from, and what journey you're traveling on, and your question. See right, and and this is the example of what I was literally talking about. Once you click on a tour link, uh, most of uh, or all of the uh, links, the Ghana version you see a little bit more, but all other countries will have about the similar ones here. Overview, general terms, itinerary, visa, language translation, improving your immune system, departure, and reminder list. So family, this is our feature journey and looking to see who else is ready to join us on our Tanzania Roots and Culture Tour November 17th to the 28th, 2022. This is the journey of a lifetime to tropical Tanzania, where we're going to be doing four days in Arusha, three days on Zanzibar Island, and two days on Dar es Salaam, the capital city. And that is going to be an incredible journey from flying across, you know, flying all the way across Africa to traveling this directly right there from Kilimanjaro to Zanzibar Island to doing your fair boat ride from Zanzibar Island to Dar es Salaam. It is going to be a fun-filled uh, journey and join you know, sunset cruises and join this paradise on the beach and join this the safari, not safari, I should say more of the national park, you know, pre-safari, you know, vision. You can always just do a full safari, but take it to a national park and just enjoy nature, enjoy you know, wildlife and enjoy this nice, peaceful environment out in the country. I have another question. Sure, go ahead, uh, Juma. Um, on other tours that I've been with you, where you had one of your guys where you, know, you you had guys that were able to exchange American dollars. Will you have that in Tanzania? Absolutely. Uh, we always work those things out. Either we take it to a Forex bureau or we just call one of the people that we have and they may come to our bus or our hotel and then they exchange money for you. So absolutely, we're going to definitely work that out. Got any idea what the exchange rate is per uh, dollars absolutely not man i try not to even think about exchange rate it just confused me every time from country to country but uh uh you're talking about tanzania i did check you know it's 2300 to one so for one us dollar you get in 2300 and what do they call what do they call the currency there shillings maybe or something? there you go shillings uh yes that's correct shillings Okay, 2,033, 237 per $100. It looks like I'm gonna have a good time because I'm bringing plenty of money. <laughs> yeah, it's still, the value is still the value. That's a nice uh, lobster right there. Don't, don't you want that for lunch right there? Oh yeah, that's nice. 
and the ATMs uh, are there too and are available. Uh, yes, always. ATMs are always available there. Get you some local currency and you're good to go. And that's you right there. Oh my God, that's you right there. That's you right there in that big statue. Yeah. <laughs> See, there you go. The Renaissance statue in synagogue. Yes, brother, that's how we do it, man. Enjoy the journey of a lifetime in paradise. Good memories. Yeah. I was there too. That was where the, uh, I talked to you, uh, your guy there uh, every now and then. Was, man, that's good, man. It's always, people are always looking forward to this meeting, good people, and they really appreciate people like yourself with us, friendly and very supportive. Yeah, that you know, uh, means a lot. And you know, this is Nicole again. Oh, great, Nicole. Go ahead with your question. Um, and Mr. What's his name, Mr. Rafiki? Uh, Juma Rafiki. Yeah. Juma, Mr. Juma. He. Uh, oh, I'm going. I'm. I'm interested in Tanzania 2022. So, um, and uh, he's a repeat customer. So that says something good about Mr. Mr. Bomani here. <laughs> Africa, Afro, the Africans. This is something good to have a repeat customer. That's great. Some people are Somebody doing some good business. <laughs> oh, yeah, appreciate it, man. Some people are crazy like me, and they just like hanging out with me. <laughs> yeah, right. What are you doing? You just, they just love hanging out with you. That's what. No, no, you know, um, I had one more. I had a question too about is do, do I know with the tent with Ghana, they have the community already kind of established. What I did see something on your god i think your gambia trip i never did see a real uh, uh, videos about any communities in tanzania i know there probably are some oh no there's just, some there's some in other countries by other people and you know we'll go by them and just record and, and share share it but uh it's only in ghana that i have that one project and then i have another uh associate um in Ghana also, that's uh, they're doing development. Um, so working with them also marketing their project. So that's what we do, you know, trying to just market um, our people doing real estate development projects uh, in different countries and things like that uh, to help those who are looking to move to Africa be more organized and connected. Uh, so that's kind of like what we're doing and just trying to network with other people as best as possible. And you know that uh, you can only be in, uh, you know, you only can be in one place at a time. So you're trying to make your impact felt by this building partnership and this networking with different people. As different people reach out to you about moving to different countries, and you're trying to have different things in place. But uh, all of these countries are the countries that we're going to be getting things going in: uh, Ghana, uh, Gambia, Tanzania, okay. Liberia. Uh, those are four primarily. Thank you. Sounds great. Perfect. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hello. Um, my name is Ama. I do have a question. So I'm interested in the Liberia tour. I think that's the tour I'm going to settle for um, for next year. Um, like, what's the, I guess, when it comes down to like vegan or vegetarian options, um, how is that? looking, I guess, for like the tours, in this case, Liberia? Uh, the tours, of, as far as that, it's not a problem. What you do is that when we're ordering dinner, we just order in this uh, variety of options or individuals get to order what they want uh, based on the restaurant situation. Like if we have a big group, usually we just get a list of what everybody eat in this order a group buffet. And then beyond that, uh, we just take individual orders and it is submitted to the uh, the kitchen or the restaurant. And so you just basically, you're selecting what you want based on a menu that uh, has a variety of food that is catering to all of our diets, including vegetarian and meat eaters. And uh, as far as vegan, vegan, it uh, may vary here and there as you, know, as you can, you know, based on just traveling. Thank you. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, you're welcome. And then if you're ready to uh, go to Liberia, just uh, you know, send me a message and uh, so we can just uh, talk in details and get things uh, going for you. Uh, B's iPad, you, you need help with, uh, are you trying to unmute yourself?
That's family the line. No, I'm. Okay. I'm hi, hi. I'm Andrea. How are you? Prince Andrea. I have, are you good? I have a, I have a quick question. When you says Kilimanjaro, does that is that just a connection, or would you we actually be going to like Kilimanjaro? All right, Kilimanjaro is uh, the name of the airport. And Got it, okay. Also city. So once we fly into Kilimanjaro airport, we're gonna drive to Kilimanjaro city and head to Arusha city, and, uh, and that which is an hour away. Uh, so the main purpose of Kilimanjaro is just the airport. I see, okay. All but right, you thank you. To climb up the Kilimanjaro, we can get there a few days earlier. That would be nice. <laughs> so you'd have to, be able to do that. Um, I won't be coming with you, so you'd have to be. <laughs> okay. It's just like a safari. No, and, it's, and I know I'm joking. We're joking about it, but it's just like the safari. What we have set up is for those who wanted to do like the full Serengeti or do anything like that relevant in Tanzania. We have a whole crew of people that do tourism there. So they, I mean, so they would take you there. Like that's one of the things you won't catch me at a nobody four or five day safari. There's just too much time to sit around watching animals. Uh, yeah. Me, I would not knock the hustle. Anybody want to do that, we'll accommodate them. You can do that for them in Tanzania and also in South Africa. Because mm -hmm. okay. they have the same setup as far as we only take you to the national park, but they have other parks that are gaming parks and parks that, you know, do the four or five day safari. And it's, uh, I don't know the exact price, but I do have partners that they, they'll do it uh, for those who want to do it. And then you just make your arrangements to get it done uh, before the journey. And then once you finish that, then you meet up with the rest of us on the tour. Or you can do it also on the back end. It's just something for anybody to think about. It's just like if anyone is looking to travel with us and then you want to stay in a country longer, maybe you want to stay an extra month in Africa. You could work it like different people have worked it to where uh, they stay longer and then they stay longer in that specific country. And then they may fly into another country and things like that. And those are things that if you need help with, we can just always just help you work those things out. But uh, there's no limitation because the schedules that we do have, they're only limited to nine to 10 days uh, of uh, touring in the country. Because if we start touring more than that, then the costs start going up further. Uh, so okay. we the medium price. Okay, thank you. All right. Absolutely, are you welcome? That's a great question. <laughs> Is that Miss, her name was Andrea? That was a good question. <laughs> I actually had a good question. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So, so it seemed like a few people are ready for Tanzania. So what we're looking to do is we are basically five months or well, less than five months away. So what we're looking to do is if you're looking to go to Tanzania, just need to just connect with you tonight. Uh, it's not an emergency, not, but uh, trying to get commitments earlier than later. Uh, so we can just make this group work. So B, uh, are you ready to join us for Tanzania? And then we already have you already, Nicole. I'm ready. Yes. <laughs> you got, I'm committed. Omadi, um, I have a question. Um, in Tanzania, in your past trip, to, um, my name is Vernon and, I, and I'm from um, Philadelphia, but- Greetings, Vernon. Um, yeah, and um, the question I have is that um, in Tanzania, um, Jackie Robinson's son, David Robinson, has a big coffee business in Tanzania. Have you had an opportunity to visit with his op operation? Uh, no, I'm not uh, familiar with it. Yeah, he has a plantation there. Yeah. He furnishes coffee to uh, Major League Baseball here in the United States. Awesome. Mm -hmm. His whole family's involved in business interests in Tanzania. They've been there for a generation. They... Yep. Yeah, interested in this. I didn't know anything about it. Uh, can't say that we'll pass by there uh, or anything like that. Uh, we always have to look at our schedule. But uh, do you know specifically oh. where in Tanzania it is? Because that is a big country. Yeah, yeah, I know. Again, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I do not know specifically where this plantation is lo located. Um, when, when I was in Tanzania a few years ago, the places that we go to is uh, Arusha, Dar es Salaam, and also Zanzibar Island. And fantastic, but so if it was like 
like right in the path you know it's always it's always a good thing and we just go check it out but nevertheless uh, i'll process it and see where we can get some information yeah he's jackie robinson i mean famous father you know jackie robinson's son yeah i would definitely appreciate it uh and so family line is open for anyone who have any questions and if you have any questions you can also just reach out to me separately and i can talk with you All right, so chat. All right, um, and for those who, for those who text me a message about Liberia, just uh, if you could just send that message to me on my phone as far as just your interest. Uh, that way I have your number because there's no, um, this uh, won't give me an option to get your number. No. All right, so family, um, let me see what else I have to share. So Juma got you muted. All right, so our family, if no one else have any uh, other questions, uh, I'm gonna close and then you can just uh, reconnect with me at any time and we'll get you ready for the uh, journey of a lifetime. Uh, so I'll be up for a few more hours so you can uh, send me a message. Um, you also send me an email and I'll just uh, connect with you and get you all ready. And we just go through any information we need to. But if anybody have any questions right now, you can definitely ask it before we close. I'll right. see you later. I'm out, brother. All right, there. Take care, brother. Thank you. Oh, um, Mr. Bamani, one more thing. Um, when when do we have to have all the payment in for Tanzania, or the trips? Any trip you choose, you, you, all the payment needs to be in in um, full by forty five like, days. Uh, two months out. Forty five to sixty days before we travel. Forty five to sixty days. Okay, I just want to double check that. I wasn't sure. And and then that's when you we start once we paid in full, then we can go to the Delta site to look at the ticket after you give us the go on that one? Uh, the ticket will be uh, ready before you pay in full. Uh, the tickets are, are set up, set to be ready two months before that, but even then the tickets are already in process. Oh, okay. But uh, Wait, so to close out the balance on the tickets, yeah, about on the uh, two month mark. About the two month mark, okay. Yes. So while you're making payments, you want to look at, so, okay, so, all right, so you want to make sure all your money's in full for us 45 to 60 days before the actual date of the tour, the uh, trip, correct? Did I have that? Yes. So, all right. And, uh, and, it's, uh, and it's flexible, so it's uh, no pressure, but just giving you a range, uh, a range, and then, you know, we just need, you need more time, we just work those things out. It's all good. No problem. Thank you. Oh, and then are you going to get with, am I not able to use, I wasn't able to use Zale. I don't know this. I mean, this is probably something I probably can discuss with you separately. Um, Remember that Zale wasn't working for me. Zale doesn't work because my bank's not listed in there. So I would, uh, I would just go ahead and proceed with through my bank, right? Uh, the bank has uh, uh, options uh, beyond bill pay. They usually have an option like, like Zelle or a similar option. And, uh, and if it doesn't, uh, you can still set up a Zelle pay. You can set it up, but you'd have to just, uh, you know, go to the, the Zelle pay website and set it up separate outside of your bank. 
and maybe uh, attach a card. But these are things that literally, if you just uh, need help with it, I've, I've, I've used all single, all, all different versions of payment options and things like that, that I can easily just help anyone set up um, uh, from bank accounts, cryptocurrency to just different things. Is this as far as it's a person that just does these accounts? So um, if you want that, uh, you know, I can just, I can just go to some options with you based on whatever your bank is or credit union and uh, we'll get something set up for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try, I, I was trying to go through my bank Friday because I have an appointment, but in the meantime, I, I downloaded Zale, but it's not, it's just not sending, it's not letting me set up at anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, know. I would have to just physically call you and talk with you and work those things okay. out. That's what I physically just get done for people. I just get on the phone or in front of the computer and any te technical or business things that they need, I just get it done. Uh, sometimes it is these things are you know, technical challenges, but um, and these are the things that uh, that's the things that you know I do as a as a technical administrator, and um, I'll find a way to get that worked out for you. Uh, so oh yeah, I once, yeah I definitely trust. So well, I'll just uh, we'll just I'll just try to text you sometime before the uh, appointment. I'm gonna give you I'm, I'm you're on my list to give um you're on my list to call you, so um, I, I can call you uh, once you finish the call. All right. And, uh, you and a few people I need to communicate with. Sounds good. Thanks for money. All right, perfect. And other person that's looking to, I'm just trying to just find out all the Tanzania people and just make sure that everything is good with them as that's been, as that being the next journey and trying to make sure everybody's good for that one. All right, so I'm trying to see who else. All right, let me stop this. All right, so B and anyone else, Ama, if you can just uh, text me your information because I don't uh, I don't have a record of your phone number or anything or your email. So if you can email me or text me, I'll just uh, connect back with both of you as soon as I get the message. Beyond that, everyone, family, you take care and um, we'll get you ready for your relative journey for lifetime and i'm just available via the quickest way if you can just send me a message on whatsapp um and whatever uh, group you're traveling in um, my goal is to just add you to that group also that way whenever we have any updates you get those updates so beyond that family appreciate everyone joining the call and looking forward to meeting everyone and connecting with everyone and uh let's uh keep in touch and then uh everyone you take care once again, this is Bomani Tamba, and this is our Africa for the Africans conference call for June 26, 2022. Right? And uh, see you on the next Journey of a Lifetime for Tanzania, November 2022, and Ghana, December 2022. All right, so everybody, have a good night. Good night. Thank you.